Sorry, there's no chair. It's okay. All right, that's me and you. Can I shoot my wife here? Oh, yeah. I don't know what happened. There used to be a chair there. I don't know where they put it. How are you doing? Uh, I'm okay, but uh, like what I said, they come from Epic me and they send me here to double, you know, what's the one in there. And they said, I'm scared. They say, oh, maybe you need surgery. Oh, what? I don't understand. Yeah. So you're having a lot of, so what's going on? You're having a lot of like deep watery eyes or yeah. what's what's actually bothering you? Uh, that's the one that's bothering me. Every time, every day, night and day, so wake up in the morning or somebody day. It's been like, uh, this is long, three years already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's been a while. It's like, say, allergy, I don't know, but. I mean, because I had cataract surgery two lives already, mm -hmm. and yep. I got uh, hit by the nail, oh, yeah. the surgery. Oh, okay. yeah. So those things, that's why yeah. I come to check what's what yeah, really, sure. you know, because my vision sometimes is far. Sure. Yeah. You want a little bit see the, the person, the face, something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, uh, and like I said, tear up, tear eye, yeah. almost of the time I read that. Gotcha. Now, what kind of drop? Are you using any drops right now? Drop? Yeah, like a... Yeah, the, drop. yeah, this thing, the last time they gave me this one, but before I just bought the base. Okay, so you're using Refresh now? For them. Gotcha. How many, and how many times a day are you using? Uh, sometimes twice, in the morning and the okay. evening, so gotcha. it depends on... On, on what's happening, On yeah. my condition, that's gotcha. Oh, it's like sturdy. Yeah, how, how, how many minutes or hours do you find relief when you put, with the drop it? Is it... Oh, uh, no, 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 maybe four. Six, uh, three hours. Okay. Something okay. like that. Especially when I feel like my my eyes is crying or something. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Let's take a look. Do you do any warm compresses at all or anything like that? Like a hot washcloth over closed eyes? Ah, uh, not really. Uh, yeah. That's what they said to me. But yeah. And then, do you get a lot of itching or not so much? Because you said you sometimes, were on Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it's sometimes. itchy. Yeah. Especially when I let. Smell the smoke, cigarettes, yeah. or, yeah, yeah. or so, so barbecue grill. Yeah, it really gets in. And I reach in and then start. Yeah. Now, do you have any allergies to anything, like pets or any kind of plants or anything, like certain pollen? No, not really, because I'm doing yeah. my bush garden in the house, so yeah. it's not affecting so me. So that's not fun. Yeah, but okay. sometimes when I smell something. Yeah. Right, let's take a look. <laughs> let's start going forward. I'm going to drop this down. Alright, how's that height for you? Is that okay for a minute or so? Uh, that's too high. Too high? Yeah, let's bring it down a little more. Yeah. Alright, let's we'll start with the right eye first. Does one eye bother you more than the other? Or is it both about the same? Both, yeah. But mostly left eye is like a... Left eye I think that's the one that gets hard to do too. Oh yeah, I've had a lot, yeah. Alright. Alright, let's Sit back. Okay, so here's what I usually do for so you do have so there's this area on on everyone's eyeball, right? That it or a structure that's called the conjunctiva, right? So the white part of the eye is called the sclera, and there's kind of this covering over top called the conjunctiva. That's the part that if someone has pink eye and gets really red and swollen. Um, so you have the that that structure is redundant, it's supposed to be, right? So when you blink, it kind of moves around. But some people will have more than they need, right? In your case. 
to when I look with the microscope, you have kind of like rolls of it that kind of bunch up uh, like between your eyeball and uh, lower eyelids, especially. And it can give people a lot of kind of foreign body sensation, redness, you name it. Um, before I offer any kind of procedure to remove or shrink that those structures, I usually have you really ramp up lubrication, kind of as a therapeutic and diagnostic thing. So what I usually have you do at first is to find the preserver free version of that refresh that you have, or sustain any one of these that are in bold here. And really, you use it probably every couple hours, regardless mm -hmm. how your eyes feel. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you don't have to wake up in the middle of the night to use it, but during the day, every two hours, put a drop in. Um, and then have you do that for about two or three weeks. Okay. And just, and we'll come back for another exam and see how the cheering, the wateriness, and the redness is. If it's a lot better and practically gone, then your problem's more dry eye and allergy related, mm -hmm. and less the physical problem of having a lot of that bunched up conjunctiva that they call conchcholasis. Because like, a lot of people have conchcholasis and don't have the problems you're having. Right? Mm -hmm. right, a lot of people have it and just they're fine. So mine is different. Well, it's, no, it's not that it's different. What, what to do this? This is this is partly therapeutic and partly diagnostic to kind of tell us, okay, is it more the redundant tissue or is it more dry eye and allergies? Okay. So I'm gonna have you really do this. And now the other thing is, do you ever take um, any over-the-counter like allergy meds for anything like loratadine or you know, the brand names like Zyrtec or? Allegra, do you ever take those? Do you ever get itchy? Um, for or, or medicine for what? Doctor. For like sneezing. Oh, yeah, I have some uh, point, uh, uh, pressure. You have a nose spray? Yeah, nose yeah. spray. So you do get like kind of stuffy, stuffy, yes, runny yes, noses. Yes. Okay. And then, you know, I'm, when I'm sleeping, I use a uh, CPAP. You do? Okay. So the CPAP, sometimes the air, when I'm sleeping, maybe the air come up from and I don't that, it, notice it. Oh, but like sometimes the, when you, the you, air is coming out outside. Is so. it just like a nasal one that goes in your nose, or is it the whole mask that yeah, goes the whole, over the whole, the whole mask? The whole nose, only on my mask. Yeah, and okay. so sometimes do you notice it's like leaking? Yes, maybe that's something that's leaking. So that's definitely something good to know too. So the other thing that I would do, um, and then they have it on here. So there's a thicker kind of preservative-free lubricant. Uh, I don't know if you've ever put anything in at bedtime, but lacquer lube, gentile gel, and then there's refresh PM. They have to list it there. Since you're using a CPAP, sometimes that can be maybe not the whole problem, right? But can kind of fuel the fire, right? Yeah. So if, if you if you if you have a you know, if your CPAP's not fitting well, or if it's leaking and it's and it's pushing air up pushing across your up, yeah. yeah, do you ever when you wake up in the morning, do your eyes feel okay or they feel kind no, of tired? That's why they feel bad. Yeah. So what I would do at night before you go to bed. Use either lacquer lube or gentile gel or fresh PM. Now these are thicker; they're going to blur your vision quite a bit, but it's going to give you a little bit of a kind of a layer between that air and then your eye. And then we're going to revisit this. <coughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. In about two to three weeks, and see how you how you feel. So you when we to put that thing before yeah. I go to bed. Yeah. So so you're going to use preservative free tears, either refresh or sustain any of these things in bold up top, every two hours during the day, regardless how your eyes feel. And at night, before you go into bed, either the Refresh PM, Lacquer Lube, or Gentile Gel. Any one of those three would be fine. Mm -hmm. Now that's going to blur your vision quite a bit, so don't try to like read your phone or anything, or say, oh, like, but if I, if I read from before going to the bed. Yeah, like, right? Like, that should be probably one of the last things you do before you put your mask on and fall asleep. And so that's thick. They're like little tubes. So you put a little bit on your, on your, uh, on your finger. And you pull down on your lid, and that little pocket that forms, you smear it in there, and you oh, link it around. Oh, you use finger and put it inside. Yeah, yeah, you kind of, you kind of oh, just put a little bit. That that, that, oh. No, it, it, it is, but it, but that, I tell people to do it like that because if you take the, the tube and you try doing this, your risk of poking yourself is pretty high and giving yourself an abrasion. Oh. So that's why it's safer to put a little dollop on your finger and pull down, and then smear it inside inside the bottom lid instead of actually having this this pointy tube that's pointing towards your eye. Okay. So, and then we're gonna see you back in a couple weeks and see how see how you do. And it very maybe it very well could, could be that we don't have to do anything about about this and that all your problems are just related to dry eye and a CPAP and some allergies. It could be. Right? But this is why we're gonna do this first and then we revisit in a couple weeks and see how, how you're doing. Now if you're like totally the same 
then we kind of have a drink. You know, we have our answer. That is that's so meaning the, uh, in your experience as a doctor. So yeah. I need surgery, maybe or not. Possibly. I, but that yeah. surgery can be out of those uh, feeling I have. So yeah, that 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 surgery can. So that that's why. If I would just sign you up to do that now, it might be that I make it worse, right? Because if your problems are related to your CPAP yeah. and related to allergies, me doing that is only going to make things worse, right? Yeah, so that's yeah. why we're going to start off with kind of baby steps here. Yeah, yeah. So do I need to put some mask in my face when I see? A mask on your face. That, that, so, so that is a very good idea. Um, not because like a, not like a, out because not like know, one like of those sleep, the of the Yeah, day. I mean, you could try that if you want, like a sleep mask. They do make these things called moisture chambers. I mean, you can find them online. You probably can't find them anywhere on Guam. Oh, uh, but it's it's almost like a uh, like a pair of goggles, right? There's foam around them, and then they're clear. Most of them are clear, so you can see through it. I like that. And, and that's a that would give you some added protection. You know, from the air from the CPAP. Yeah, that's the only the cost of me. Yeah, you could try. So that. you can write me the name. So. Oh, I I, I would just I, I'll I'll write it down for you the company. Yeah, yeah. Moisture so chamber. Oh, let me write it on here. Oh, this is okay. circular. Yeah. Yeah, my wife can order that. So. Lucky, I have beautiful wife and very careful. Very. <laughs> you know what I like. I'm gonna give you that, and we'll follow up with you in, in two to three Mo weeks. What's it? Moisture chamber. Moisture chamber. So mm -hmm. I and yeah for eyes. So at bedtime. At bedtime. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's, you can show that to the dog girl. To yeah, you, yeah. You search in Google, and you'll find some. You'll find I some stuff, so. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna give you this to take up front. So uh, they'll check it. They'll, okay. Yeah. And then they'll, what? What? What's the? Do I need? Uh, Eyeglass? Oh, I would wait until your eyes feel a lot better before doing your yeah. eyeglasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because believe it or not, that can change yeah. your prescription. Because when it comes to pitch speed, you get any glasses. All yeah. right, so this is oh. it for now. All right, that's it for now. And then I'm going to give you this, and then uh, go back out to the front to a seat date, and then they'll call you to check you out to make that a follow up. And then all those uh, medicine that you. Yeah, so they're all yeah, they're all over the counter. So so any one of these. So which one you are recommending for now? So. Yeah. Any one of these. Not not this one? That one's fine, but preservative free. You need preservative free. If you're gonna use it every two hours, it has to be preservative free. Not no, that's not preservative free. Preserved. Oh no, that one is, yeah. That that you have there, is it a little vial? Then then ramp that up to, to every two hours. Every two hours. Okay, and then at night time. So nothing to avoid? Because I, I good bless you. You too. Good to see you. Right, we'll see you. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I am, we are done. Three weeks, come back. Okay. Thank you for Dr. Lombard. Mm -hmm. Hello. Ayan na, tapos na, mabay. na akong bang premiere bukas. <laughs> Ayan. Done for today. Thank you so much. Kaya mo mag-drive. Thank you.